Barbados queen dating life before she met ASAP Rocky. Watch the famous celebrities that the Umbrella hit singer dated. Rihanna and Shia LaBeouf. A year before Rihanna began a cuddly friendship that soon turned into a full-blown romance with singer Chris Brown, she was testing the waters with Transformers actor Shia LaBeouf. Dating rumors surrounding the pair began circulating in 2007 after they were spotted eating together in Beverly Hills. Nearly two years later, the Even Steven star revealed that he and the singer did, in fact, date. However, things ended up not working out. It never got beyond one date, LaBeouf was quoted telling Playboy the spark wasn't there. We weren't passionate about each other in that way, so we remain friends. Rihanna and Chris Brown Rihanna's first public relationship was with singer Chris Brown. The pair met as teenagers early on in their music careers and soon began collaborating on music. After Rihanna's Umbrella became a hit, Brown created its Cinderella remix, which he later performed on tour with the singer in 2008. In February 2008, the couple were spotted getting cozy at a Grammy Awards after party and at Rihanna's 20th birthday party, where Brown sang, Happy Birthday, to her. At the Grammy's party, Brown told people that they were just friends, a sentiment that the pair repeated for the next few months. But in that time, they went on numerous dates, including to a Kanye West show, a summer trip to Barbados, and a Sydney shopping spree. However, Brown assaulted Rihanna the following February in a car hours before they were scheduled to perform at the 2009 Grammys. Rihanna called 911 and named Brown as her attacker. Brown was booked on felony criminal threats charges before posting $50,000 bail. They've been fighting a lot lately, a source told people at the time. Lots of ups and downs. One second they're all lovey-dovey and then they're fighting like crazy. Brown pleaded guilty to the felony charges on June 22, 2009 and accepted a plea deal. That included community labor, five years probation, domestic violence counseling, and a restraining order. Rihanna recounted details of the incident later that year. In October 2010, Rihanna shared that she had felt like an empty vessel following the assault. I needed that wake-up call in my life, she added. That was the only way I would have gotten out of that relationship. In 2011, a judge relaxed Brown's restraining order, allowing the former couple to speak to each other. The next year, Rihanna and Brown sparked reconciliation rumors when they collaborated on several songs together. Rihanna denied the rumors of a rekindled relationship to Oprah Winfrey, adding that she and Brown still loved each other. However, in January 2013, Rihanna confirmed their relationship and defended getting back together with Brown. I decided it was more important for me to be happy and I wasn't going to let anybody's opinion get in the way of that, she said. Even if it's a mistake, it's my mistake. Rihanna and Brown broke up for good in April 2013. Rihanna and Drake Rihanna first met Canadian rapper Drake when he was an extra in her Ponda Replay a music video in 2005. Though they started out as friends, their relationship turned romantic in May 2009 when the pair were spotted making out at a New York City bowling alley. In November, Rihanna told radio personality Angie Martinez that they were just friends, but the evening rang more sentimental to Drake, who later said he felt like a pawn and referenced their bowling date in his song, Fireworks. Despite their differences, the pair remained friendly and collaborated on Rihanna's 2010 song, What's My Name? 
They later performed the duet at the 2011 Grammys, and the steamy performance fueled speculation that there was more to their relationship. Later that year, Rihanna and Drake were seen spending time together in Montreal, and in 2012 Drake released Take Care, featuring the Barbados-born singer. In 2014, his ultimate fantasy, as he described Rihanna to Rolling Stone, joined him on several stops of his tour. But in 2015, Rihanna denied dating Drake to Vanity Fair, saying her last real, official boyfriend was Chris Brown. Over the next few years, the two singers were periodically spotted together at parties, concerts, and the like. Drake made a grand gesture in August 2016 by purchasing a billboard to congratulate Rihanna on winning the MTV Michael Jackson Video Vanguard Award. She's someone I've been in love with since I was 22 years old, he said while presenting her with the award. At the after party, he was literally shadowing her every movement and was just so affectionate and adoring the entire night, a source told People. In September 2016, they got matching shark tattoos, but by 2018, the umbrella, singer and Drake had ended their relationship. We don't have a friendship now, but we're not enemies either, Rihanna said in an interview. While the duo shared some friendly online banter in March 2020, Rihanna covered up her shark tattoo with a crown in 2021. Rihanna and Travis Scott Rihanna and rapper Travis Scott were first linked in late 2015 when they were spotted on several outings together, including a tattoo appointment, a fashion week after party, and multiple nights out in West Hollywood, California. In October, Rihanna attended Scott's set at Hollywood Nightclub 10AK. Once Travis finished his set, they were inseparable and all over each other, an onlooker told People. It was cute. Scott opened for Rihanna on the North American leg of her anti-tour beginning in February 2016. Despite months of circulating rumors, the pair never acknowledged a romantic relationship between them. Scott went on to date and welcomed two children with Kylie Jenner, Rihanna and Lewis Hamilton. The rumors about Lewis Hamilton and Rihanna's relationship came ashore after the duo was spotted on a yacht in Rihanna's home country of Barbados in 2015. With media reports claiming quoting sources closer to Rihanna, Lewis was the only romantic interest on her mind. The rumors got bigger as the high-profile duo was spotted together on multiple occasions. Following months of speculation, Lewis Hamilton came out denying the reports saying he has known Rihanna for a long time but added that they are just friends, you know, I've known Rhi for a long time. We've been friends for a while. We get to hang out every now and again. Rihanna and Leonardo DiCaprio Dating speculations between Rihanna and Leonardo DiCaprio started when they both brought in the 2015 New Year in St. Bart's. However, there was no evidence that they ringed in their New Year together. However, after that, there were several instances where Leonardo DiCaprio and Rihanna were seen partying together. These included Caleb Followill's birthday bash in West Hollywood and the birthday party of their mutual friend at the Playboy Mansion. The duo were also seen having fun at the Neon Carnival at Coachella in 2016. However, the sources at that time maintained that the singer and actor were just good friends. In the same year, Rihanna and Leonardo DiCaprio went their separate ways with the actor on his press tour and the singer on her concert touring. Rihanna and Benzema 
The initial rumors of Karim Benzema and Rihanna dating began in 2016, when the two were regularly spotted together partying into the early hours. The French striker first met the American singer in 2015 at a nightclub and has met her on multiple occasions, ever since. So, did Karim Benzema date Rihanna? According to several reports, Karim Benzema and Rihanna were dating for some time before eventually breaking up in 2017. So why did the Benzema-Rihanna dating end? As per Spanish publication Don Balon Rosa, fellow pop star Chris Brown was the real reason why the couple was never made official as Rihanna eventually broke up with Benzema in 2017. Although it is believed that Rihanna loved Benzema and had a lot of fun with him, she loved Brown more and did not want to break his heart. A source close to Benzema told Don Ballon, Rihanna loved Kareem, and with him, she had a lot of fun. But she told him she did not want to break his heart, and she confessed that she'll always love Chris Brown. Rihanna said it was difficult to compete. Fed up by the continuous rumors of him dating Rihanna, Kareem Benzema finally cleared all the rumors in an interview in 2020. When asked about the alleged affair with Rihanna, the French striker replied, I don't follow her on Instagram, I don't follow her. Even though Benzema categorically denied that he ever dated Rihanna, Fans are unlikely to buy his response considering the widespread images of the two together. Meanwhile, Karim Benzema's France career is reportedly getting revived as France coach Didier Deschamps is likely to include the French striker in the upcoming Euro 2020 tournament. The 33-year-old striker has been one of the standout players for Real Madrid this season having scored 22 goals and 8 assists in 33 La Liga appearances. Benzema has had one of the highest goals returns this season, having managed over 22 goals just once before. Rihanna and Hassan Jamil Love on the Brain singer was first romantically linked to Saudi businessman Hassan Jamil in June 2017. Though the couple rarely spoke publicly about their relationship, they weren't shy about going on dates. Rumors of a split spread in July 2018 when Rihanna and Jamil were photographed during a heated conversation, but the singer shut them down with a meme on Instagram. In June 2019, actress Sarah Paulson spoke to the Grammy-winning artist for Interview magazine. Are you in love? Paulson asked, to which Rihanna replied, Of course I am. The Fenty founder added that she was prioritizing her personal life over her career. I got into a new relationship, and it matters to me, she said. It was like, I need to make time for this. Just like I nurture my businesses, I need to nurture this as well. I'll shut things down for two days, three days at a time. The relationship appeared to take a serious turn in August 2019, Rihanna and Jamil spent a lovely dinner evening with her brother and her mom, Monica Braithwaite Fenty. They all stayed a good few hours of the night until dark, a source told People. Rihanna and Jamil's romance ended in January 2020 after nearly three years together. A source told People, their lives were too different and it was hard to maintain a relationship. Rihanna and Matt Kemp Rihanna and Los Angeles Dodgers outfielder Matt Kemp were introduced by mutual friends in November 2009. Things heated up quickly, and by January 2010, they were spotted getting cozy while on vacation in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. They couldn't keep their hands off of each other, a source told People. They kept kissing while gazing out over the ocean. 
A few months later, Rihanna confirmed her newfound romance in an interview with Ryan Seacrest. He's my boyfriend, she said. It's new, and it's fun, and it's nothing too serious, you know. I don't want anything that's going to take up so much of my energy and time right now in a bad way. Rihanna and Kemp continued to date through the summer. I'm so happy. I feel really comfortable, and it's so easy, she told Elle in June. I have such a chaotic life, but at the end of the day, that is just my peace. It keeps me sane, really, talking to him and talking to my family. By December 2010, however, the couple ended their relationship. Thank you so much for watching. Kindly remember to subscribe, like, and share.